Hi all, it's Cindy from Cindy's Art. Today we are going to do a uh, watercolor poppy painting. So watercolor flowers and I used a reference photo from unsplash.com. It's a great site to pull off pictures that you can use and uh, you can give the artist credit, the photographer credit as well. So I started this five by seven picture off uh, with a quick sketch of just a few of those flowers. And then I used frisket um, in order for me to block out areas that I wanted really white. That included the hairs that were on the stems. So you'll see that as it develops because I don't really want to paint over top of that. So I started off with the light wash uh, for my sky and I simply did not wet the poppy uh, flowers. I, I painted around them, I got it wet around them. And then I dropped in a little bit of my greens for the background and my blues for the sky. Let that background dry really well. You want to bone dry. And then I'm going to wet down just the heads of the poppies, the ones that are not blossoming out. These are going to be a green color. And I'm going to paint the stems and put in the shadows of the stems as well. Let these dry as well. Once you get these stems laid out, uh, you want to let that dry really, really well. And then we're going to shift over and start to work on the poppy flowers. Poppy flowers are basically the focus for my painting. And so I want this a little bit more realistic. The rest of it, I kept it soft and I didn't do a ton of detail. So I'm going to put in my lightest areas first, and then I'm going to put in a few darks to help outline it and shape it around. If you want to see more of this video, I would recommend checking out my Patreon page. The link is below. So I'm using a mix of different reds and pinks in order for me to develop this. I'll put on one wash of color and then I'll go back and I'll add on additional washes of color and that helps develop um, this flower so it looks a little bit more realistic. Next, I'm adding in shadows that are inside the poppy. And I like this painting because it kind of forced me to uh, try to paint a petal that had sun shining through it. That's new for me. It's all, I love trying new things and I always want to encourage you to do that. While you're watching this area, take a look at the stems and you can see the fine little white hairs that I used frisket on and uh, at the early part of sketching this painting. And I'm gonna leave those alone and I'm just gonna continue to paint everything else. I really like the effect of having this dark background, some dark stems, and then you see these perfectly white hairs that are on a stem. It's just a fun way to work with the watercolor. So I'm gonna continue developing the shadow, a little bit more of colors layering in there. So it looks like a poppy um, leaf 
I just love the idea again of the sunshine shining through. I'm finishing this painting up by just making sure that I have some of the dark dark enough so you can see where the folds and the shapes are inside of the flower head. I really appreciate you joining me today. This is a very fast video. I may put this same video up with a longer link so you can little, see a little bit more detail to it, but I love the way this turned out. I would love to see your work. Please hit subscribe if you're not a, a part of joining in on these lessons. I'd love to have you here. I thank you for your time. You guys have a great day.